Can't wait. Lucky thing. Yep. <laughs> Morning. I thought we didn't use the front door. Oh, Peter can't be bothered driving around the back. It takes too long. <laughs> Hey, you can't stay angry all your life. Watch me. Hey, Joe, can you give me a hand later? There's a hole in Nick's fence near Drifter's Gully. I'd like to help him out. Not a problem. I'll do it now. What, I'm here to work, aren't I? Well, it's too hot now. We'll do it later. I'm not a slacker, Tess. I'll do it now. Don't ask, just in case we jinx it. Hey. Hey, have I shown you this? This is the sand roll for the horses when we get up and running. And this, this is going to be the heated wash bay for the stables. Wow. How much is all this going to cost us? It's OK. Peter's taking care of it. I'm half owner, don't forget. I should know what you're committing us to. Hey, Tess, I know a bit about training quarter horses, OK? Yeah, but that's not the point. Anyway, right now, I want to speak to you about Nick. Mayor McLeod. <laughs> you tag. Of course I do. He's ringing from the gate. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I miss you too. Well, just get back as soon as you can. I love you. Bye. Sorry, about... Do you think we could have steak tonight? Peter loves paper steak. Right. Anyway, if I... I should get onto the roofing contractors. Have you seen the tape measure? I was about Nick, but don't worry. He'd kill me if he knew I was talking to you, but he's in real trouble. Wilgul's falling to pieces. He's pushing himself so hard, I'm scared he's going to get hurt. It's his fault, not mine, Tess. He bought the land for himself. Yeah, because Harry went back on his word. I would have looked after him. Whatever Dad put in his will, and Nick knows that, Tess. So do it now. Go and help. You can always ask. You know he won't. Well, there's nothing I can do from then, right? Look, Tess, why do you care so much anyway? Because you only have one brother. You don't want to spend your lives apart. I'm not the one who left, am I? I mean, he bought land and moved out all behind my back. Must have been planning his revenge for years. What? For the rodeo. Is that what you think this is about? Why else would Nick want to stick it to me so badly? Then blame Harry. <laughs> Look, yeah, not everything is his fault, right? He knew you were there. <laughs> Rubbish. It's true. Someone called to tell him. He could have stopped you. He could have stopped Nick getting hurt. How do you know? Your mum. Alex! We're at the rodeo. Who told you? Yeah! Oh, stop it! Don't you dare! Make you feel better, Alex.
You know what's going to happen now, don't you? Alex? Please? Alex? He thought that he was doing the right thing. I was 16 Please years talk old, Mum. Alex. It was such a long time ago. Please. So why didn't you say anything? I didn't have a choice. Yes, you did, Mum. You had a choice and you chose him. Stop. what I'd be looking at for colour bond. Oh. What about just plain corrugated iron? And have you got that much in stock now? OK, no, no, I'll give you a call back. Thanks. Sprung. <laughs> I don't even know why I hoarded them. Oh, you'd look great in that. Yeah? <laughs> I look like a meringue in my wedding dress. <laughs> Not that I thought so at the time. I thought this one would suit you too. Wow. <laughs> you and Pete have so much in common. Kevin and I couldn't even agree on a band for the reception. <laughs> I knew he wasn't perfect, but it didn't matter. If you love someone, you learn to live with their faults. I don't think Peter's got any. Or not, in my case. <laughs> Jodie's got to learn that. You lost something? Oh, pen knife. Kevin's. Jody's trying to pretend he never existed. If only you really could. Yeah. What's that song? You don't know what you've got till it's gone? You can say that again. You want Kevin back? Oh, no. God, no, I meant Terry. Well, why don't you just ring him? He won't take my calls. Write him a letter, then. What can I possibly say that'll make things up to him? Yeah. Maybe you could give him a present. He'd just send it back. So what are you gonna do? Wait. Till he stops hating me and hope I'm still alive by then. <laughs> Great. Really is hopeless. Are we still talking about me and Terry? Better get back to work. Any beer in this crummy joint? That depends on if it's a one beer or a two beer conversation. What's wrong with you? Been working, what does it look like? What's up with you? Dad. He's a bastard, Nick. It took you a while. Come on, get a beer. Mention that I love working like this. Yep, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> 